Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time coming, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscription button so that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. So today I was going to show you how to do um, a uh, one of the easy hairstyles that I do. I wear my hair in this style most of the time. If you want to know what that is, you're just going to have to hang on for a minute and I'll be right back to show you. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you a hairstyle that I use most of the time. Um, just because it's quick and easy. And so I'll show you what that is. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure if you wear jewelry that has high crowns on it, make sure you take that off, right? So that you don't um, snag your hair and pull your hair out. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off right now. And then um, I just have a spray bottle here with some plain water in it. Sometimes I'll put conditioner in the water, a little bit of conditioner, but this time because I just, my hair is freshly washed and conditioned this morning and I've been out running around and I had a meeting I had to go to. So now I'm back and my hair is dry, um, not dried out, but dry. It is winter and so the air is dry and crisp outside. I want to go ahead and put it back. So. I'm just going to spray this a little just to get it to be a little bit more manageable. Let me cover my keyboard here so I don't uh, destroy my computer. And like I said, if you want to put conditioner in it, um, then you can, a leave-in, some kind of a leave-in conditioner, not regular conditioner. And and then and I just do this just to make it more manageable. I'll be doing I should be doing a length check here in the very near future. Um, I haven't done one in a while. I did clip my hair just recently. Uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago I clipped a, a, a lot of my ends off, and I should have did a video about that, but I didn't think about it until after I had clipped them off. So that happened and now I can't find my comb okay here it is okay so and everything's backwards oh my gosh let me see which way am I going this way okay so it shrunk of course when I went out and that cold air hit it it shrunk on me so I don't have to do too much combing of it because I had already detangled it and everything and it just did what it did naturally. So it's okay, as you can see. Not too much tangling going on. Although, of course, you know when our hair shrinks, it, it, you know, it can get a little crazy. So, anyway, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not too bad. Uh-oh, <laughs> I might have said that too quick. It's okay. You just want to make sure that you have your ends un, oops, unfurled. Take your earrings off <laughs> while you're combing. My hands are slippery. Okay, and all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab some hair. I hope you can see. I'm just grabbing front section like that and then I grab under that uh, and I don't know if you can see and I'm just twisting it I'm grabbing hair and wrapping it and I had to change the position of my hands you probably can't see you'll be able to see when I'm finished <laughs> A lot of good that does you, huh? And I'm just twisting it, literally. I'm just, I'm just twisting it. You know, like, 
back in the day when we wore pigtails and your mom or your grandmother or your big sister or whoever would put your hair in two rubber bands and then just twist it. Well, that's, that's really all you're doing. It's kind of like a flat twist, you know? Okay, so just going to grab a little bit of hair and pull it back like that. Just grab and go, grab and go. And when you get to the end, then you just twist it like this. What I do is I'll take this piece and put it, pull it around toward my other ear, the opposite ear, and pin it. And then I just stuck this end up here just to get it out of the way. But I'll take this end and pull it around toward the opposite ear and tuck it under. And then I pin it. And then you end up with that. That's what you end up with. See? Now, if your hair is... If your hair is shorter, you may have to, you know, if you've got some pieces that are shorter because of the way your hair is cut, you may have to use more pins than I did. I just used two. But this is usually how I wear my hair. I wear it like this or I'm in a wash and go because it's just easier to do. And also, you want to make sure that you um, keep your hair tied up at night use a satin um, bonnet or something that will minimize friction on your hair because you don't want it to uh, tear your hair out or, you know, cause split ends or whatever. And also, if you have satin pillowcases or some facsimile of a satin or silk pillowcase, be careful of the pilling that happens. I don't know that that's real silk or satin if that does happen, but if it does, it will pull your hair out. So, pfft. Just keep that in mind. Anyhow, here it is. Easy peasy. And it's just, it's just pinned in the back, that's all. Now, if you're like me and you've got these cow licks, thank you, mom, <laughs> um, just pull your hair over like that if it bothers you, you know, to see that. This isn't so much a cow lick as it is. I just have a dark streak of hair and it makes me look like I have a bald spot right there. But you can just pull it over and and there you go. That's the quick and easy hairstyle for today. Anyhow, thanks for coming along, kids. I'll see you next time I come on. Keep it natural.